Hey, hi, howdy, and hello, friends. It's Wickedy here. This episode of the Chickadee Farm has three days, a little longer, but I'm trying to push through this winter so we can get going. Moving on to the 18th day of the winter. We have the next birthday is gonna be Evelyn's birthday. She likes beets a lot, so let's make sure to remember. I think she loves beets, actually. Let's see. Evelyn, all the way at the bottom. Loves beets, yes. We have a few of those around. Ooh, we need to start friending up Crobus a bit more too. Oh. Evelyn, Sandy, and Crobus are our three lowest. Hmm. Clear and sunny, and the fortune teller says, ooh, golden pyramid, sweet. Yes. I agree. Um, the fish are looking good. I'm going to put the Santa hat in here and we'll save that for um, when the festival comes around. Got some cactus. I can't water anything, I think, because we have our watering can uh, elsewhere. Let's go ahead and put this cloud banner up. Oh! A phone call for me? You hear a squeaky voice on the other end. Hey, old Pokey, me sell good hats. Please come and bring coins, Pokey. <laughs> me like coins. <laughs> so cute. Oh my gosh. I love it. Okay, uh, what am I doing? I got really distracted by that. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, we're grabbing that. We're gonna go see... We got a letter about us passing out inside of our own home. Oh, recipe from Demetrius. And, ooh, winter. Okay, who is our friend? Who is our friend? Please be someone good. Leah. Oh, okay, okay. That's actually really easy. I have so much goat cheese. I'm going to sell these spook fish. We'll sell the super cucumber because I don't really need it. And see how much wood we have left to get. Um... Yes. Might just have to resort to constantly um, making sure that our wood chippers are working. So let's get that started. And then I'll check and see if there's any, um, yes, yes, if there's any trees like that I might have missed. Oh, the quarry. We still have to check the quarry for some trees. Now it's Thursday. We could absolutely go and visit Robin and uh, fix our coop up. Oh, and maybe what we'll do is uh, build our third fish pond, which is 5,000 gold. Yes, 5,000 gold and some stones and uh, seaweed and algae. I still don't have any jelly for you yet, but we will get there. Okay, so we officially have two. <laughs> they seem to be happy, which means that um, if I really want, ooh, let's uh, grab that, whatever that is. Maybe it's some iridium, if it's iridium. Why do I not keep a copper pan over here? I really should do that. But if it's iridium, then um, I should be able to make a bar with that. I think I'll buy a second copper pan just so I can have one. In a more convenient spot. Alright, so today what we gotta do is check the quarry. I gotta make sure that... Um, See if there's any other trees that we can gather from anywhere. I want to recolor my coop and then also look at what it is that I need to start working on getting my house upgraded so that we can get that colored also.
Hello, Pam. A visit to the solution warm. He, you're working, honey. You're working. Oh, be joyful. What's that? Is that like a special kind of beer? Never heard of that one before. Ooh, chewing stick. Um, something we already have. But you know what? We could always just gift that to Penny. She should like that now. Oh, hey, Abigail. Visiting your, uh, your buddy. He's working. <gasps> Ooh, what's going on here? Demetrius, I didn't tell you to get tomatoes. I said to get fruit. <laughs> But I don't understand. Tomatoes are fruit. Yes, they are. When a normal person says they want fruit, they never mean tomatoes. It doesn't matter what a scientific classification is. Uh, yeah, I agree with that too. <laughs> uh, same with avocados. Uh, Wickedy, I'm glad you're here. You'll be able to put this argument to rest. Don't ask me. I'm not wanting to be in the middle of your marital problems. How would you classify a tomato? Hmm. Honestly, it's a vegetable, but is he going to hate me for this? Let's just say fruit. I'm siding with Robin. See, Wickedy agrees with me. Sorry, siding with Demetrius, because that's what it is. I just want you to understand my point of view. Demetrius, like, I know it's a fruit, but you still gotta use your brain. It's hard for me to know exactly what assumptions I should make when you tell me something. But I'll try to get better at it. Thanks for your help. Yep. Because I'm a smirt person. Hey, Abigail! Another year is almost over. Yep. It goes by so fast, doesn't it? What is with all these people wearing, like, super short sleeve stuff? <laughs> um, anything we should buy before the year is over. I don't really think I need another wood chipper. We'll get this recipe. And then I want to upgrade house. It's going to be 50,000 gold. Which actually is reasonable and 150 uh, I don't have the hardwood on me but what I do want to do is paint the coop can't paint the house yet but we should be able to paint the coop now yay okay let's copy that and copy the trim and the roof I think the trim and the roof are the same, actually, aren't they? So, building, roof, trim. Yes! Lovely. I just need some dark tiles to match with it. Perfect! Look at that. My super gothy <laughs> place here. It matches me, okay? And now, we want to build a... Ooh. Could always build another shipping bin. But for now, we're gonna build another fish pond. Put this right over here. Plop! Perfect. And eight hearts with Robin. Perfect. Thank you. Appreciate it. Hey, Demetrius. Um, yeah, I do. A couple of them. Okay, bye. Good, good talk. Good talk. Oh, since Sebastian's around. Knock, knock. Um, hi, it's one o'clock, so I was thinking if you need, here's some lunch. You're welcome. Good person here. Oh, yes, I should be just giving people stuff since I'm around. Um, Abigail, would you please take this? Yes, coffee, because you need it. Uh, Robin, coffee for you. And Demetrius, let's give you some coffee. Help you feel your scientificness. <laughs> You're welcome. Since the week's almost over, might as well. Oh, that's why I keep running out of coffee. I keep giving it away. 
Yeah, so let's drink that and see if we have some trees in the quarry and then we'll go up to the bathhouse. Um, there's one or two trees over here. We need to get every single one that we can. Hopefully this doesn't fall in an area that I can't, um, I got most of it. Okay, cool. I think only a couple fell. Oh, I got none of that. I got a couple from the stump, so at least there's that. All right, how many more wood? 112. All right, um... 72 left. Might have to... It's okay, we have a couple of days to get it taken care of, but we might have to just, um... Chop some of the, like, fell, fell in logs in the woods. Or, um, keep working with that wood chipper. Oh, hey, Alex, what are you doing up here? Oh, I wonder if I have a couple of trees down that, back that way. Oh, there's a tree. Sweet. Hey, Sebastian. Nice to, uh, see you. One tree. I think that's it though. Yeah, that's it over here. Okay, let's get these logs and that should help. Oh, perfect. I do have some trees here. We'll be able to get this easy peasy. And here we go. Resource rush is done. And now we have so much wood. <laughs> We're in a good position. Oh, I wonder if that tree's available. Wait, did I skip a wriggle worm? I did. I see that one over there, but I'm being lazy. Let's go ahead and grab all of our uh, resins. Now that the um, next year is almost upon us, we should definitely get um, the rest of this place organized and ready for it. So I'll probably put flooring down there, get that prepared. Then let's do something up there. Maybe we'll put the greenhouse up by our house. That would be lovely. to do with the rest of my night oh let's go see what our um, greenhouse has it definitely still needs to be lit up a bit more here but it's better than it was Well, since we have quite a bit of time left to the night tonight, I'm just going to do some reorganizing of these chests and clean up a little bit. Mm, we're going to start working on making this place look a lot better for next year because right now I'm just not really feeling the layout. Uh, especially with like new processing machines and things like that from the um, update, I need to make sure that I have room for everything um, and make it a little bit easier to I don't know, do stuff. <laughs> oh my gosh, I've had a lot of pass outs this winter so far. All right, it's off to bed. Um, my organizing, I just wanted it to be changed just a little bit, make it a little easier. to the 19th day. It's a Friday. My steel watering can is ready, which is awesome. Evelyn's birthday is tomorrow. We're going to have to bring her some beets. Beets by Wickedy. Okay, um, forecast is snowy tomorrow. And fortune says, ooh, skulls again. Dang. I haven't had the best luck. Oh, 
It's Friday, so I definitely want to check uh, with the traveling merchant. Let's pop on oop, some coffee. Start the day off right and put this hat away. Oh, it's in the mail. Congratulations on completing my little challenge. I'm impressed. I'm added a bonus. It includes the blueprint for a new type of chest. Sweet. We learned the stone. Oh, now I'm going to have to replace some. <laughs> Too bad um, all of the chests that I have currently right now um, are wooden. I have like all these extras. I wonder if I can sell those. I'll have to look into it. But the recipe for the stone chest is ours. Love this chest. The look of it is fantastic. That was a hard hustle trying to get all that wood for sure. Um, I've been doing some changing and adjusting around here, making things look just a little bit better. Should we make one stone chest? Ooh, I should make a dark sign. I wanted to see if this can be used on our fish pond. I would love that. What's up, Regal Worms? Let's see if we can switch this out. I'm not sure. <gasps> Yay! It works! I'm gonna have to do that with all of them. Oh, I wonder if we- we probably can't change the color of those. Robin is working on that. Thanks, Robin. And I have some jelly for our happy <laughs> happy super cucumbers i was holding on to these guys to see if we could get any iridium from them but um we'll give it one day and if i don't get anything that i'm looking for from them before then then i'll switch it out with um something else probably the midnight carp so we can cut some more of that um, an auto grabber for here. Yes, we'll definitely do that. I think getting some more money, so I should look and see what it is that I can sell, because I have a lot of stuff just in a bunch of different boxes. Uh, we should sell some more things. One, two. All right, before we dig into everything else that we're planning on doing today, I'm gonna go see what Miss Mabel Lady has for us. only have a couple more um one more friday and two more sundays to get a truffle otherwise we're gonna have to depend on the first day of spring for that and looks like that's a nope from today too all right let me think I'm gonna look at my collections um, being that it's not the best of luck today maybe we'll work on something uh that we can do until um, hmm. <laughs> can do some. I really just want to get all of my achievements filled out as well as getting all of my collections taken care of. We have a few things that we have to catch. Not a whole lot of fish, honestly. Um, let's go check the ocean for that. But um, I want to make some money so that we can get the house upgraded. Uh, first, let me see if we have enough hardwood. So I need to make sure that I have 150 hardwood for that. Also, garbage. And we have tons of wood, so we could definitely make um, all of those preserve jars now. How many more were we wanting to make? Eight more kegs. For now, until we eventually upgrade the the um, shed. I want to go on a huge splurge and make a ton more processors and uh, get a ton more animals as well. And if I want to make more preserve jars, I'm going to need some more coal as well as um, some more hardwood to get the house upgraded. There's our first replacement. We'll get to around to doing some more. 
eventually. But it's nice. I like it. Okay, anything I can sell here. I can probably sell these summer seeds. giving out some gifts today. We'll give you a parsnip and that bumped you up to eight hearts. Fantastic. Quick over to Clint's before we run out of time. We've got one hour. Ooh. To get our steel watering can. Yay! Super great. Hey Clint. Six hearts. Um, here. This is for you. Perfect. Give me another one later, probably. Maybe. I don't know. Oh, Penny's over here. I don't think I brought anything for Penny. I stuffed my pockets filled with a few things that I thought might be nice gifts. Um, this is not gonna work. Okay, uh, let's put this doll up here. With the chicken statue. And we'll put this right here. There we go. That'll work for now. Hey guys, how's it going? Ah, uh, yes, I am. We're, we're besties. Or at least great friends. Maybe not best friends, but we'll get there. I do like your bow. Can I have one? Boiled beet nut. That's, that's so good. That sounds delicious. Jealous. <laughs> Check this trash. Nothing. Check that trash. Nothing. This one, nothing. Okay. Oh, what's going on? Uh, I just can't reach it. If only I could get up from this infernal chair. <laughs> there you go, bro. I got you. You're welcome. And there he goes with his crazy eyes again. It happened 30 years ago. I was working in the coal mines. We were near the end of our shift, but there was one last scene that needed to be broken up. We went in there, aiming to set off a stick of dynamite, but my foot slipped. Ooh. Ooh, no. It exploded. Yeah, I did. Um, I'll have you know that I'll be sprier than a spring chicken if I hadn't been in that accident. I believe you. I'm probably less grumpy, too. You're welcome! When you're old, you start to forget that anyone cares about you. And whether or not you should wear socks that day. You know, I never understood why his TV was all the way down here. Is he that stubborn to have his chair right here? Like, just put your chair right there. Silly. My grandpap was a farmer. It's a respectable profession. Thanks. Um, I have this for you. Yay. And Evelyn, even though your birthday is tomorrow. Yeah, I know. I know. We should go outside. Ooh, that would do him some good. Um, I have this for you. Yay! Thanks, Evelyn. Is Emily working yet? Yes, she is. Fantastic. I have some work to do with Emily. You dig around in that cave bed, would you? I bet there are some powerful crystals. Oh, you would. You would want the crystals. Here, this is for you. Yay! And eight out of eight with Emily. I'm on a roll today. Um, hi, guess. Bye, guess. I didn't bring you anything. Uh, oh, hey, Sebastian. It's fun to live so close to the train tracks. It reminds me that there's a big world out there. Yes. Take this. Oh, bummer. Never mind. Don't take that. I've got a couple more people to gift. 
I wonder if Elliot's uh, out and about doing anything. I didn't see him. Oh, Nautilus shells. I should be picking these up more frequently. Nope, not in here. Since he's not in here. <laughs> no, okay, bye. A lot of good money making stuffs here. Oh, there he is. What were you doing up there? Hey, wait, wait, wait. Wait, come back. I have something for you. Elliot, Mr. Three Hearts. You have to brush your hair daily. Oh, <laughs> same. My hair's always a mess though. Oh, no, Willie, you go. I've got. I've got to talk to Elliot. It's a lot of work. Can you go over there, Willie? Here, let's let. I don't want to accidentally gift the wrong person. There we go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Did it! Yay! Did I get you anything, Willie? I did not. I'm sorry. We were gonna check and see what the status is over here. I do so hope that we get some lobster, because I think that's the last thing we need from the ocean crab pots. We should probably throw some more crab pots over here then, if that's the case. Okay, pop down to the sewers and talk to our bestie, or eventually, hopefully, best bestie ever. Mm, still not ready for it, because that's like a third of my money someday. But I do have this for you. Yay! Bye, Krobus. Oh, so close to the season being over. I'm excited. Ooh, Clint. Hey. Me, he, yes. <laughs> he just talking about the walk T to the saloon? Probably not. All right, I'm going to toss a bunch of these things into the cell box or shipping box, whatever it's called, because we're trying to roll and kind of gain a bit more money. I'm gonna go check up at the quarry. See if there's anything good up there. Nothing new and exciting. Might as well clear some of this out though. And make room for some better stuff. Ooh, secret note. 12 o'clock noon sharp, last day of the season. Check the bush above the playground and see if I can remember to do that. Okay, quarry is cleared. when you put a really good fruit or vegetable into somewhere and it just gives you a mixed seed instead. Real bummer. That's okay. We shall survive. It's getting really late. It's one o'clock. We should get into bed. I really want to make sure that we get it, we get to, ooh, Heimtar, that we get to Skull Cavern on, ooh, when is it? Sunday? Can I talk meat? Ooh. That way we can trade these jade in for um, some staircases. And bed just in time again. I don't know how I survive off of uh, four hours of sleep. But we do it. Lots of good stuff. 
all that dino meat it was worth quite a bit. All right, only eight days of the winter left. I'm excited. Evelyn's birthday today. That means eight days we have left until, um, hopefully we can get our first truffle. Oh, and it's such good luck today. Definitely ha have to hit up the mines today or the skull cavern, whichever it is. If that's the case, we probably should get ourselves, like, mentally and physically prepared, you know, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, seems like you're starting to get close to some of the town's people. Oh, that's right, we did hit eight hearts with Emily, so... Um, she's nice, but... I don't know. Let's see, Emily wants to do something called clothing therapy. Oh, wait, today? I'm busy today. I'm sure we can do that any time, right? Probably. Gotta pop on our coffee and get the get day started. I like Emily. Maybe I will date her, but do I have to ask her to move in? I don't know. Maybe I should play the field just a little bit more. <laughs> All right, we gotta take care of all the animals real quick and water dog meat. Haven't had any water in a couple of days. Luckily, uh, I've probably been eating the snow a little bit, so it's been fine. All right, I gotta get this beat to Evelyn for her birthday today, and maybe there'll be something on the board too. Anyways, I gotta get hustling so that we can have plenty of time in school cavern. I'm hoping we get lucky with the treasure room at some point and get an auto grabber, or I'll just have to buy it. No, I'm gonna drop these off in here, and we'll put a new sign up there. One, two, and three. Switch that. That looks good. We're doing okay on time. All right, let's drop a gift off for Evelyn and get headed over. Hmm. And have another cup of coffee. How am I surviving off of like only coffee? I haven't even had any breakfast yet. Ah, yes, something on the board. What do you got? Uh, sardine for Miss Caroline. I'll probably have another sardine, like, laying around somewhere. Evelyn, it is your birthday. Lived here for over 30 years now, ever since um, George's accident, actually. <laughs> How about this for you? Yes, I did. Ian, five hearts. Ooh, that was a good boost. Alright, bye guys. I've got things to do, but I didn't forget about you, Miss Evelyn. <laughs> Next birthday is going to be Leah's. Don't we also have her as our um, Feast of the Winter Star person? Yeah, so we're going to double up on the goat cheese for her. I'll make sure they'll have us some extra. Alright, so it's almost noon, which honestly I'm pretty happy with. As long as we get there by one, I feel like there's plenty of time to get some good stuff. Grab all of our bombs and uh, the crocus for Miss Sandy. Alright. I always want to talk to um talk to Pam to take me, but I gotta pay the bus ticket spot because clearly Pam is not to be trusted. Oh, nice and toasty. Calico Desert. Oh, how I miss you, especially in the winter time. Oh, nice. A golden relic. Oh, not new. I think I'm going to be collecting all the coconuts for the most part. Hey, Sandy. Welcome. Thank you. I have this for you. She's got one heart with me now. Still up to one only. 
So we really gotta work on her a little bit. Yeah. Ooh, and Alex. <laughs> mm -hmm. We'll get you eventually, Sandy. Alright, so I grabbed a chest. Ooh, what's this? <gasps> oh, t uh, warp home to the beach totem. Actually, now that I remember it, don't, isn't one of the secret notes um, have to do with here? Yes, right here. Look. Let's see. Oh, strange doll. That one's new to me, right? Because we already have the ancient doll, but not the strange doll. Cool. And I don't think I have another. All right, so I'm going to put a chest um, right here. I'm change it to match sand and stuff. And this is where we're going to keep all of these for when we need it, including anything else. I'm going to keep those in there for now, because I can always grab it before we head back to the bus. Because today is not the day that we want for trading. It'll be nice to get, though. Yeah, today's the seed trading day. Ooh, the birch double bed looks really nice. And I can honestly just keep saving all my Omni Geodes up here too. It's just seeing if there's any more artifacts boss, which there's one. Just some mixed seeds again. Time to get on with the day. Hopefully we make some good progress with Iridium. I don't really care how deep we get. Um, I'm okay if we don't get to level 100. What I want, though, is Iridium. <laughs> Ooh, a rabbit's foot. How lucky. How far do we go? Six levels. Not too bad. I do like fighting the purple slimes. They're a good source of iridium. Perfect. Okay. Our health is a little low, so I'm going to slurp down a little sashimi. That should be good. A little overdone, but that's good. Seven levels, lovely. Ooh, and one right away. Honestly, the critical chance that we've been getting with this aquamarine ring. <laughs> I still find that uh, phrase really, really fun to say, aquamarine ring. Anyways, the critical chance boost has been really nice. I'm gonna skedaddle. Probably. Although I do kind of want to get some serpents destroyed for our monster eradication goal. Okay, I guess that's enough. Ooh, hello, diamond! Let's get them all together. Almost all of them. <gasps> Ooh, a prismatic shard! Oh, that's awesome! So, one prismatic shard today. I want to keep track of that and that and that. And we are not going down the ladder because we have a shaft right here. Three levels. 
Hey, fair enough. Let's see what we get. Ooh, two iridium sprinklers. Heck yeah, I'll take that. What does it take to make an iridium sprinkler? That saves me two iridium bars and two batteries. I'm hoping that tomorrow is lucky. Because if it is, tomorrow is the day we're going to shoot for getting to level 100. Yep, it is getting late and we gotta get out of here because I don't have a warp home totem. You know, we can always come here for wood if we're ever in a serious pinch. Just nice to know. I'm gonna save these for trading for in the future. I'm gonna take that with us. We'll sell that. Anything else? I think I want to save a couple of things up here. I'm going to save the Omni Geodes up here for a bit. And our bombs. Alright, off to home. We'll make it back in time. Duck meat. Good night, fishies. <laughs> Good night, messy house. Oh, level 10 in combat. Yeah. Um, ooh. Tough choices. Tough choices. I think maybe we'll go with Groot. I like them both, but. That sounds nice. But I think I want to go with Root just because the more damage that I give out, the less likely I'm going to die. We could always change it later. All right, and that's going to be it for this episode of the Chickadee Farm. I made an okay amount of money, but um, getting that prismatic shard was pretty great today. And we're going to get to level 100 in Skull Cavern in no time. <laughs> if I have enough ladders and bombs, that is. Thanks everyone for checking out the video. I hope your week has been well and awesome. All right, friends, you already know. I'm Wickedy. Thank you so much for hanging out in the valley with me and I will see you in the next episode. Bye.